issues of doing bathroom, specifically shower, bathtub renovations, is you must know what you're doing in order for things to turn out right. This is marble tile, and there are, there are some things that I'm kind of impressed about. First of all, he's using Schluter strips, although he banged it up a little bit. Schluter strips with the corners, I rarely see that. Schluter strips with the corners, I rarely see that. You know, it's just, it, 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 sometimes I look at a job and I go, wow, they kind of know what they were doing, and then I take a closer look and I realize they really didn't. One of the issues here, this is barely sloped. It has a very, very slight slope, but because the glass is in the center, that slope is negligible at this point. And this part is more sloped than that part, <laughs> so that's not really doing too much good. This curb is not sloped at all. Uh, the grout is cracking out uh, between the schluter and the tile. Uh, I, I wouldn't have used schluter on here anyway. They have the contiguous curb tops and marble that I would have set on here and then I would have sloped it. So that would have been a better look than having schluter on the inside and the outside. Um, they, didn't, they didn't cut these at a 45 so you have this, this edge of the tile showing that should have been just like a 45 straight down the crack here so that the two pieces of smooth tile match up to each other you know little things like that little things like this you know this is a bad 45 cut it, it's not it's not huge all these little tiny mistakes make up for a big one this is off by about a sixteenth of an inch and uh, look at this this is off this has lippage itself off and there's, there's not a reason for that. I mean, this is a relatively easy job. Uh, normally, marble is what they call rectified, meaning each piece lines up to each other piece. So it's very easy to make this happen better. The lippage on here, I don't know if you can see it on camera. The lippage on here is for a lot of different reasons. Usually, when you don't know how to do tile, it's because you're sticking the tile straight to the wall and the wall is not perfect, so your tile is not going to be perfect. And that's the reason you back butter, trial out your thin set and back butter. So there are little things like that that matter that uh, people who don't do these type of jobs day in and day out miss. This is a this is an eighth inch or better, three eighths of an inch grout line, and then it just tapers down to almost nothing down here. What's the reason for that? Well. I don't know. <laughs> you know, here's a discrepancy with the trim again. It's just, as I said, taking a close up look on things. If I stood back, you wouldn't really notice a lot of this stuff. There's grout missing out of here. There's grout missing inside of the niche. Um, they used a dull blade to cut this tile because the tile is all jagged and um, they didn't even center up the niche pieces. Put one straight piece here and then a couple of smaller pieces here and here, but they didn't center. They didn't center on here either. We've got a long piece and a short piece. A long piece and a short piece. I don't know why they're doing that. Huge grout line back in the corner. Uh, ooh, that's a huge grout. <laughs> uh, and then lippage on this top one. <sighs> Again, grout's kind of starting to come out of here. It was a dull blade because this tile is jagged. Um, it's not sloped. It's starting to get discoloration already because of the water that's just stagnating there. Lippage on this tile, it's hard to see, but I can definitely feel it. And it's the same reason I showed you on the other side. Another issue too is a large format tile centered down the middle here. Tile is not perfect and this should have been cut in the thirds. But I have a lot of customers who want them staggered in the halves like that, so I can't complain too much about that because I do the same thing. Um, again, lippage because they're sticking it straight to the wall. Here's a scratch tile. That's got a huge double scratch on it. No grout at the bottom here, right next to where there's no grout. Uh, there's no caulking in this corner. All it is is just straight grout that's gonna end up popping out. Another issue too, I don't know if I can take this off. 
there's a tile hole cutter that's only six or seven dollars and they didn't use it <laughs> they used, they back cut a square in here and then just filled in the void with caulking rather than use the tile hole cutter uh, down to the floor look at this <clears throat> pieces missing oh let's let's not even bother filling these little pieces in we'll just put grout in there and uh, water is just stagnating around the drain edge, which is a different issue, and I'm going to get back to that. Here's, here's again where they didn't put in the piece of the tile that needed to be put in, although they did in a couple of areas. Where were they at? Right here. So they're cutting little small pieces here, but they didn't bother on the front. And the front is even larger pieces that they just didn't do, and that dips down too, so water is going to pull up here in the grout. Uh, they cut a piece in, they didn't. They cut pieces in here, and then they didn't. <laughs> and they didn't. And they did. <laughs> and they didn't. So it's almost like, uh, I don't know, they, they picked and choose which ones that they were gonna. Look at that, that's a horrible. I don't know if you can see that. That's just horrible. This, uh, this floor was set after the wall. So you have this horizontal grout line going on everywhere, which is not a good idea. The floor should have been set before the wall tile. So that's a big issue too. So getting back to here, one of the reasons I set my tile slightly above the drain cap is so that I can, I can actually taper off those edges of those tiles so that the pooling around the drain will never happen. Although I don't have dips around my drain either. And that's one of the, kind of fubus about this job is that there's a lot of dips going on and there's lack of tile which is kind of incidental but um, I don't want the pooling around my drain so when I set my tile above my drain cap and taper off those pieces of tile I have positive water flow going down this guy set his tile or tried to anyway right up against the drain and so that's another issue but the floor issue is really bad this will not last this um, in fact, this shower was done wrong to begin with. The shower pan liner was cut so badly around this drain that as soon as you turn it on, downstairs there's a leak. So not only is the surface area not good, but it's not even functional as a shower because it was done wrong to start with. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm doing these videos as a heads up to homeowners so when you're having a job done this is all marble this is an excess of probably fifteen hundred dollars maybe two thousand dollars worth of material that now has to be done over so the reason for my videos is not to as they say kind of make myself so perfect because i can critique other jobs i don't do work like this this is not acceptable. My, I wouldn't get paid if I were doing work like this. So it's not that I'm that perfect, it's just that other people are so horrible. And again, getting back to what I was saying before I interrupted myself, the videos are to show the process. At the end of the day, this shower took five, six days to build. At the end of each day, look at what they're doing. You know, just pay attention to the job that you're having done so that you don't get it to this point where where you have issues, you know, that's the whole purpose. At the end of the second day, look around, you know, just look around and say, hey, this isn't right, that's not right. By the time he does the floor, look at, look at, look at the pieces that are missing. Look how the floor is not sloped to the drain. No, take it up and do it over again, you know, like you're the boss. You know, you're the dog wagging the tail, so it should be the tail wagging the dog. Uh, I don't know, like I said, Pay attention to your job. Make sure that it's being done right. Don't spend an exorbitant amount of money having a job done only to have to redo it over again. Even if it's just a pan, this is this is you know this is a big mistake. All of this material has to be taken out. The shower door has to be taken out. Everything has to go. Has to be done over again just because of one simple little mistake that the contractor made by cutting the pan liner wrong.